Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're, we will be making cornbread dressing from scratch today. But before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, and for the confidence and encouragement he brings. Thank you for the Spirit's help in prayer, service, and grace. Thank you that he works for my good and your glory, Father God, in all things. Fill us, Father God, with your spirit and guide us throughout the day. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Today, I will be making a cornbread stuffing. So, the first thing we need to do is get started with the cornbread and join me today and cook with me. We're using self-rising cornmeal and the reason why I'm using self-rising is because if I use regular cornmeal, I will have to add the baking powder and the baking soda. But I like the self-rising cornmeal. You can get white or yellow. And we're going to also mix in one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. That'll just help it stick together a little better. And we're going to add one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of sugar and we're going to add one half cup of either vegetable oil or avocado oil i am using avocado oil and i'm putting in six tablespoons of unsalted butter and we're going to use two eggs We're going to put it all in. We're going to mix it all together. And this is one half cup of oil. And we're going to use one cup of buttermilk. We're going to get this a real good blend. And then we're going to stick it in a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. And this is our first step in making cornbread dressing. All right, y'all, it is time to construct the dressing. I have cornbread here that we made. Isn't it beautiful? We're going to cut it up. We're going to put it in our bowl and we're going to mash it up. We're going to start mixing everything together. When you have a good tasting cornbread, you guys, this is what makes the dressing. It's the cornbread. You have to start with good cornbread. You have really, really good dressing. And I have this bag of uh, herb seasoning that I'll be using, breadcrumbs. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of sage. And I am also going to be using one tablespoon of poultry season, poultry seasoning. We use one tablespoon of black pepper. You guys, you can use a teaspoon if you don't like a lot of black pepper. We like to be a, a, a little bit spicy. and Plus, it helps bring the flavor out. I think so. And I'm using a teaspoon of salt. 
we're only using a teaspoon because we're going to be using a quart of the chicken stock and sometimes it can be a little salty you can always add salt if you need more salt afterwards but you can never take it away once you put too much salt in so now what i am doing is sauteing the vegetables and i am going to uh add the seasoning breadcrumbs to the cornbread I'm adding um, it to be two cups of breadcrumbs you guys this is the grind up bell pepper onion and celery that I had made previously and i am going to add the rest of it to the dressing it's just extra bell pepper celery and onion and i also have the bell pepper celery and onion that i am sauteing that i'm gonna be adding to the dressing you guys i am coating my chicken in this sauce of bell pepper onion and i am gonna bake it with the dressing you guys this is so so good it is chicken breast and I filleted them and I've just seasoned them lightly and I added uh, the bell pepper onion seasoning and it has garlic powder on it so yeah now we're gonna add the sauteed bell pepper onion and celery we're gonna add this to our dressing mix you guys my kitchen smells amazing it smells so so good we're just getting all of this cooking out the way but this is a quick and easy recipe and it is so flavorful now i am adding a quart of the chicken stock now if you need more chicken stock you can add more you know to give you to help your dressing become really really moist but i start off with a chicken stock uh a quart first mix it up and if i feel like i need more i just add you know a little bit more but i use that whole carton and now i am adding two tablespoons of butter it is unsalted butter you guys what are you guys gonna cook this thanksgiving leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know are you gonna do a turkey or are you gonna do something like i'm doing chicken breast now we have our dressing all mixed up you guys i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do and how i am gonna uh, let this bake all together i'm just using the rest of the chicken stock just adding a little bit more this is actually another quart i added a little more you guys i'm playing fancy tonight y'all <laughs> i'm making little uh dressing balls for each person i'm gonna put a chicken breast on top but you guys this is such a wonderful and quick and easy homemade recipe and in it and it is so so flavorful so you guys once we finish constructing everything we're going to put it in a 375 degree oven and we're going to bake this dish for 55 minutes covered
you guys i want to thank y'all all for watching and hanging out with me while we make this cornbread and chicken dressing you guys i am just adding the extra uh some extra chicken stock from another quart just to uh get it have my dressing really really moist and i am covering it and i am going to put it in the oven and you guys get to see what it looks like but if you like our videos please like share and subscribe